148 Barajon Drive. Been a resident for 19 years. Um, last week, Councilwoman Pam Gross wrote a very interesting editorial column for the Loveland Herald. Some of her points I agree with, most I do not. The important thing is that she wrote it, and in doing so went on record in a very public forum to share her thoughts and positions. It provided much needed clarity and insight on several key issues. First, we now know where Councilwoman Gross stands on the status <coughs> of City Hall redevelopment. She wrote, and I quote, to be clear, there is no develop, there is no design. There is no impending vote on the demolition or construction of the proposed, proposed project. There is no urgency. I was relieved to read these words, and I think we would all feel a lot better if every council member were to follow suit and state their position on City Hall. Particularly Mayor Fitzgerald, who indicated to local news media a July time frame for demolition of the building. Second, with last week's editorial and her comments at last council meeting, Pam is now on record defending the building guidelines and regulations that exist today for the city of Loveland. Many people, myself included, have cited Loveland Station as a cautionary tale, proof that the city does not have the standards in place to ensure the quality, historic integrity, and eye appeal of new construction in historic Loveland. Pam Gross, on the other hand, cites Loveland Station as a shining example, referring to it as the new heart of old Loveland, assuring residents that, quote, very, very specific guidelines were in place to guide that project, and suggesting we have all the standards needed to continue on this path for future development of historic Loveland. She is absolutely entitled to hold that position, and Loveland residents benefit from knowing where she stands. Third, and perhaps most significant, Pam Groves has very publicly displayed her capacity for deception by misrepresenting herself yet again as a champion for resident input on the City Hall project, and worse, misrepresenting the efforts of fellow council members on the same topic. In her Loveland Herald editorial, Pam wrote, and I quote, I want the public engaged. Council needs public input. That is why there was a vote to schedule the first of several public hearings on this important development. The hearings are the first step in gathering information on what the public expects from the project. Unfortunately, Council could not agree, so currently no public hearings are scheduled. Weeks earlier, Councilwoman had written this in an email to me. I want the public engaged. I want public input. That is why I voted for the scheduling of a public hearing. Sadly, three of my colleagues voted no, so the motion failed and no hearings are currently scheduled. Councilwoman Gross, in your email to me and more recently in your Loveland Herald editorial, you blatantly distorted the facts in an effort to position yourself as the champion of public input, when the reality is the complete opposite. Formal public hearings are not the first step in gathering information. In fact, they are the last step, the last box to be checked before a council vote to transfer property to ownership of the CIC. The first step in gathering public input would be informal, open dialogue sessions, such as those proposed by Councilman Rob Weisgerber and supported by council members Kathy Bailey and Ted Phelps. In both your editorial and your email, you completely omitted any reference to Weisgerber's proposal for informal input sessions. You also omitted the, omitted the fact that you, along with council members Mark Fitzgerald and Angie Sattel, voted against these sessions. There's a growing concern in the community about a lack of honesty and transparency. There is a concern that secret plans and backroom deals are being made. Key committees have been whittled down to include only the mayor's handpicked representatives with meeting logistics that discourage inclusion. The best way to calm the concerns of your community is to bring the business of this city out in the open. Say what you will about Pam Gross, but she has at least gone public, gone on record with her views and even her deception. It's time for every member of Loveland City Council to articulate your position. Relative to the development of City Hall, relative to a forum for public input, and relative to architectural standards for historic Loveland. 
Loveland residents need to hear from each of you what is on your mind and on your agenda. When things are brought out of the shadows and into the light, the truth gets stronger and lies get weaker. The Loveland community is waking up, tuning in, and paying attention. Plans and intentions need to be shared. Deceit and misinformation will be called out at every turn. Thank you. Thank you very much.